Afternoon, guys. Um, yes, most a Sunday show, most unorthodox, but uh, we wanted to celebrate Devil's Night here today uh, because we are here at the Mexicans endorse the devil and all his deeds. <laughs> um, we also have a different. Uh, we have special guests here today. Um, all the owner of what was voted the best tacos in Texas. We have Edward across. Hi, how's it going? Oh, also, um, we're all hungover. Um, so that is going on as well. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, last time I was, I was here. Does that do anything time. for you? A little. <laughs> hey, hey what's, what's, what's going on, man? It's, 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 it's weird. I just got out of the Phantom Zone, bro. I've been there for so long. <laughs> is this the ASMR? How, 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 how long is it? How long has it been since I've been on the show? Right? Since you've been on the show, yeah, um, I think last it was Halloween. Last Halloween. <laughs> like two I, Halloween's. I, I think he did a review of a DC movie. Oh, wait, oh, yeah. uh, Wonder Woman eighty four. No, we did Wonder Woman eighty four. Like have her face. Uh, Tessa the one that scooted to the right. I so don't she, know, man. You got to be in frame. Oh hi. Oh, also our special guest. Uh, we couldn't do a cryptid show without probably the most knowledgeable expert on cryptids in Austin. She's literally from where the Mothman is from. West Virginia. By goddamn <laughs> West Virginia. Mountain Mama. What's up? Uh, wow. Things do look better now. <laughs> <laughs> the rose-tinted glasses, eh? Yes. Noise. It does make it harder to maneuver the buttons, though. Ed, how you doing? Oh, yeah. I'm well, doing the buttons good. are also red, I'm aren't doing they? fine. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good, man. I feel amazing. This, this, what do you call it here? This, this orange juice. It's oh, you're great. just drinking straight mixer, straight. bro? <laughs> <laughs> um, what up, Goliath? Nice to see you in the chat. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, no, it's been a it's been a doozy of a weekend. Um, We've had a doozy of a day, officer. <laughs> we found out things. Well, like, things. What, what did we find out? That you're allergic to latex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the redness on my face is not from uh, the alcohol. It is from I am allergic to latex. I was dressed up as king last night from uh, Tekken. And I uh, found out that uh, my face does not like latex. Mm -hmm. I, I, was th I thought you had a tan when I saw oh. you take off the mask. <laughs> I was like, damn, bro, it's an amazing tan you got there. And I was like, no, man, it's an so, allergic reaction. It's anaphylactic. <laughs> I think I'm going to die, My body bro. is rejecting itself. <laughs> rejecting die, the costume. <laughs> Um, Bat33K91 says, hello, new host. Maybe one of you will actually steal Sammy's shoes. We got <laughs> when this done. <laughs> what size did you wear? There. Yeah, Jinx. <laughs> I'm a size nine and a half. Is anything close to that? I'm a size five in men's shoes. Um, we will show you pictures of me as king. Uh, I'll post it to the Instagram. I'll post all of the pictures of our gathering last night. Mm. We were, uh, it was kind of a gathering of podcast hosts because we were with the double toasted uh, cast of Corey and Martin and Billy. Uh, it was a fun night. Uh, everybody was dressed up as something. Uh, we had King from King of Fighters. We had Leatherface over there. And Me, Michael Myers. <laughs> 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 Two people called him Michael Myers. <laughs> like from the same area, just walking to. Was like, hey, look, it's Michael Myers. I'm there with the fucking Leatherface guy. I was like. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then coming back, it's like, yo, is that Michael Myers? <laughs> God, that's rough. That's when you go, do I make you horny, baby? Just, just lean I did it. see a female Michael Myers, uh, Mike Myers yesterday. A female Austin Powers, actually, I guess. Nice. Yes. I uh, was weeb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were Tanjiro once he gets tired of Demon Slaying. <laughs> I was saying that his With the hair, I think I was Tanjiro when he was still trying to cut the rock. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying you need to do a mashup of yeah, the dude and Tanjiro. <laughs> like, Tanjiro just has to abide, you know? <laughs> oh, somebody was John McClane. Joe Jiro was John McClane this nice. year. Nice. Hmm. But, uh, now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> um, random question, because we've been... At, so at a, at a party, we were getting asked random questions. Now we're getting... We're, to start it, off, start it off, start the beer rolling. Not like we haven't been hanging out for hours at this point, but still. Um, I'm going to say, what would be... I'm going to ask this question to start the pre-show. What movie would you show at a party? What horror movie would you show at a party? And have Hard it play in the movie. background? Yeah, and have it play it in the black. Like, what is your favorite, like, 
party background. Uh, Haosu. Haosu? Yeah, 100% Haosu. What is Haosu? It's a Japanese like horror movie. One? It's the one where like... Uh, the big face? <laughs> yeah, there's a big like fox like cat face on the poster. People probably recognize the poster. Um, I don't know. Did I spell it wrong? It's H-A-U-S-U. Haosu. And uh, yeah, some some gals end up in this house and uh, uh, wackiness ensues, um, including someone I think getting cut up with like piano wires and shit. Yeah. yeah it's, it's I w- <laughs> <laughs> we I w- we have a ghost in this house, by the way. Like we, yes. we can't do a cryptid podcast without being haunted. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I would go with uh, the original Suspiria just Ooh. because it's bright and colorful. He hasn't seen it yet. I'm not. We're going to go see Suspiria at the Paramount and listen to Goblin play. Also, it scared the shit out of Alfred. Like, just the back of the box scared the shit out of Alfred. Ballet? Oh, God. (laughs) Dude, I can't get over this cat in Haosu. Yeah. (laughs) Big ass fucking cat. Jesus Christ. Uh, Ed, what would be your answer? Ooh, mine? Uh, Maybe Hellraiser? Hellraiser, really? The first yeah. Hellraiser. Isn't it pretty slow for like half the movie? Uh, not the one in space, bro? <laughs> <laughs> is that the, is that the fifth part one? Four. It's part or four. four. Okay. It's either that one or Jason Takes Manhattan. It, funny enough, <laughs> a lot of the horror movies that end up going to space are part four. Mm. Like Leprechaun 4 yeah. in space. Did Jason uh, ever go Hawaiian? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I feel like he should. Considering he's... Weakness is water. I wouldn't think <laughs> <laughs> he's like Stitch. <laughs> Blastoise is his biggest nemesis. <laughs> but uh, I think my answer probably, I mean, outside of obvious ones like Cabin in the Woods, would. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a solid uh, choice. I mean, yeah, you want vi- a variety, a little bit of comedy in there. Uh, I'm going to go with Would You Rather, I guess. I'm going to go with Would You Rather, which is a weird Netflix movie, but it's pretty fun. And it's really about the game, Would You Rather, and it just goes, escalates from there. Like, would you rather kill this person or get a million dollars? I don't know why they do Or the, the dude jumps off, like, the, the, the ledge or something. Yes. And he's like, fair enough, he just jumps off. Drag me to hell, maybe? No, that's a good answer. Ooh. That is a good answer. Uh, yeah. Somebody said the Evil Dead trilogy. That's really yeah. good. Mm. Uh, he's weak to water in only one movie in response to JJ's comment. Mm. Jason. So he can go Hawaiian is what you're telling me. <laughs> well, we need I to mean, write he this. Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> and he takes over the airport and then he flies out to Hawaii and goes on vacation. I just want a scene of him just laying in a chair with like a lay on him with a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say that, so this is going to be the last show that is ever this disorganized. There's just a lot of moving parts, a lot of alcohol. Yes, I'm, I'm taking them. Disorganized? We have notes. We do have notes. Loose notes. <laughs> <laughs> I meant that there was no announcement. We didn't start on time. But after this, every Monday, we're going to put up the schedule uh, on our Instagram and Twitter that so you can see what we're doing. Uh, but this week has just been a lot to catch up on. And uh, we apologize to you guys. But hey, at the on the bright side, you have two shows today. We're going to do uh, this sync countdown. Uh, later tonight, we're going to do another Anim Excellence episode uh, with Elijah from Back to the Podcast. I have three hours to watch all of Blue Lock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching episode one. I only saw episode one. Oh, God. This is going to be more freeform because we can't talk about Blue Lock without TJ being here. Oh, excellent. Then I will put Blue Lock on the back burner and just watch more One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> what? How far are you into One Piece right now? Uh, 8.55. Damn. Oh. Dear God. Lord. I'm still on Whole Cake. I'm not even at Wano yet. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start the show. Thank you for coming out to here today uh, when you could be out watching Glorious Football. Um, but, yeah, Top 5 Cryptids is coming up. <laughs> Everyone's getting JJ art. 
Good evening. Welcome to. Good afternoon, actually, for the first time ever in a while. Welcome to the Sync Countdown today. I will be your host. My name is Marco.、Um, I am not here alone today. To my right, we have from the One of Us dot net, from millions of other things, from the Goes You Gallery, from. I mean, what what can we not put out there that you haven't done? <laughs> Not、uh, or have done. What? Are, how many projects do we list?、Uh, I've been on Blood Over Texas podcast.、Uh, there's the Retro Movie Roundtable.、Uh, obviously, one of us. There was a short-lived feminist podcast called Gash, which is girls are superheroes. And、uh, yeah, <laughs> good name. That's a great I know, name. right?、Yeah. Pretty solid.、Um, From my heart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah,、um, and several other podcasts I can't think of right now.、Yeah. Uh, other thing that we should name right off the bat, probably、uh, Rage Select.、Uh, other than that,、um, across the street we got、uh, my oldest friend、uh, Edward. You're doing good. You're, You're doing、great. good, buddy. Amazing. <laughs>、uh, hi, hi, hello. And we have two Moraleses on the other side. Actually, we have Edward and JJ. I'm JJ. <laughs> is is Eduardo like basically like summoning like this like Joaquin Phoenix right now? This? <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this a Joaquin Phoenix interview? I, I, I don't want to be sitting next to him now. You don't have a gun, do you? <laughs> <laughs> do you got a rap album you're gonna put out? <laughs> I mean, it's Joaquin Phoenix, not Baldwin. You'll, you'll be fine. A little dark joke. Oh wait, what? Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah,、um, it is an honor to eat your nuts, sir. <laughs> <laughs>、um, to start off today, so what we're going to be doing is top five cryptids. This is basically going to be a collection of. If you do not know what a cryptid is, because we've said this several times this weekend that we were going to do this,、uh, it's basically a、um, unconfirmed animal or being kind of thing. So think、uh, aliens, ghosts, chupacabras, things like that.、Uh, Bigfoot is a famous cryptid. Uh, Loch Ness monster. Loch Ness monster is probably the most famous cryptid. But that、uh, one got debunked. Like people came forward, were like, well, "Yeah, we're just fucking people with people." Claiming they see it, and then there's also the look. So also, we're gonna get super nerdy this podcast. So sorry, guys.、Um, when it comes to Loch Ness, there's sightings. There's have been sightings going back. Like there's murals and churches of it. So, okay. Are we sure there's just like oh, we just want to draw like dragons and shit, you know? I mean, the tapestry. Be, I mean, it's in the water. Oh well. I've seen it. Are you sure they're、that、just not、there. seeing seeing whale <laughs> dicks? Be tree pity because they get well boners. Dicks, and well、like、dicks in a lake. Oh no, not in a lake. <laughs> like, you know, yes, you are right. If it's a sea serpent, usually the sailors were just seeing whale dicks. The more you know,、mm. the more you didn't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't before ask. Before, after they wanted to fuck the manatee.、Um. <laughs> <laughs> It's a mermaid. Get it right. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find the mural here real quick.、Uh, it doesn't seem to keep coming out. I think no. This... Oh, what's this?、Uh, what's it doesn't this? Show it. There's、no. white things everywhere. Yeah. Wait, it <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're just gonna be going through our list.、Uh, hope you all learned some stuff and、uh, perfect topic for Halloween.、Uh, I think JJ, you should start us off, and we'll go this way. All right. So we can teach the new whippersnappers how to do it. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm. Going with、uh, one that's not very well known, but it has the most metal name out of all of them. Oh hell yeah! The Mongolian Deathworm. That's my number five. <laughs> 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 It's just a bitchin' name. <laughs> what is it again? The Mongolian what? Mongolian Deathworm. Deathworm. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Also, I like SpongeBob a lot, and there's an episode、yeah. where they have to fight the Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it lo- it looks like a fucking metal cover every time you see the Mongolian、yeah. death worm. Like those t-shirts、oh, wow. that we saw、okay. last night. Actually, let's、oh, get. Oh damn!、That. Look at that one. <laughs> okay, yeah these these all look like creatures from. They're graboids. Oh yeah.、They're- Yeah, so the Mongolian death worm has is reported to live in the plains of Mongolia,、uh, and, and、uh, it's just like don't go、Gobi、out there. Gobi desert.、Right? Gobi yeah. desert. Yeah. yeah.、Hmm. Um, and yeah, it's just this thing that it, like it has weird qual- qualities to it. Like it shoots lasers and <laughs> and acid at you depending on. Well, like, we're on like the seventh Tremors movie, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, yeah, it probably manufactures guns. Like. <laughs> 
Um, it's. I think this is like an like it that it does look like it does describe as something from Tremors, but it's supposed to be like nine ish feet, and it's just just this worm Ooh. that burrows out and comes out. Uh, it doesn't have any eyes, ex- like I. That's what it is supposed to be, kind of thing. Oh, that's an actual like death worm in the ocean, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, Goliath says Lugero. 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 Mm. All right. Since we have the same number five, we'll, we'll look up Lugero and see what that is. All right. If it's just some guy named Lou. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Oh, it's a wolf. Lugero. Oh. <laughs> I think it's a wolf. Lugaro. Oh, Lugaro. Can I write it into battle? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see what I can find about Lugaro. Mm. Lugaro is another term for werewolf. Oh. oh. Dope. Of course, Garo. Ah. <laughs> Garu. The Caribbean island nation of Haiti already stepped back into the dark lore of zombies and voodoo also has its own version of the infamous werewolf known as the Jerugs or the Red Eyes. It is referred to as it was the French loop Garou and the Creole word Logarou. It is Haitian equivalent of the Louisiana Roarou, which is uh, one of Alfred's favorite cryptids, the werewolf island. Oh, yeah. Fucking Werewolf Island. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Werewolf Island. I don't think you want to go to Werewolf Island. How do I go to Werewolf, Werewolf Island? Island? It was Dog Island. That's Dog what Island. it was. I just want to give them scritches, okay? That's, that they're nine feet tall. Just little scritches. <laughs> um, no. The spicy canine pets. is immune to belly rubs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can give a coyote belly rubs, <laughs> let alone a werewolf. He, he'll struggle and he'll fight back, <laughs> but eventually he'll lie back and accept it. <laughs> um, yeah, so my number five was the Mongolian death worm, so we're, this is going to get a little bit quicker. Uh, so, Tessa, what is your number five? My number five? My number five... Uh, also Mongolian death worm? <laughs> no, it's, it's not. Um, I put down the Wampus Cat, which has been seen throughout uh, America, uh, Texas, uh, Arkansas, uh, I think Louisiana, uh, Idaho. There's a, a many a Wampus Cat sighting. Um, and it apparently comes from like a Cherokee legend of a woman who I think she like followed her husband and his friends as they were going like on a hunt. And so she like hid herself under a like panther skin to like follow them be like, see what they're up to. Cause she, I guess she wanted to go along with and like, no, you can't. And it was a whole thing. And oh, I thought and maybe she- it was like a Brokeback Mountain situation where like. You and your buddy are hanging out an awful lot. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was punished for spying on her husband and his buddies on their fishing trip. Um, but uh, yeah, so she she got cursed to turn into like sort of like a were cat or something. That's one of the legends. But also it's just like some large cat sightings. There may be some species that we thought were extinct or you know what have you. And some of them like they have six legs there are various iterations of it some derpier looking than others like some are like oh that's pretty badass and others are like that kind of looks goofy oh you got a really nice bronze statue here yeah i didn't know it had a statue i thought only mothman got a statue but apparently the the wampus cat also has like a cool statue yeah look at that shit (laughs) like that's a dope ass statue i mean that's that's a lot of bronze there that's not cheap So somebody donated that. Um, so yeah, the Wampus Cat. Oh, is cat. there more than one? Oh yeah, like I said, it's all over. I mean, well, that's the same one from a different angle, I think. And is that like is that like a middle school or high school? How did a middle school or high school have the money for that? Anyways. <laughs> it's their mascot. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Go Wampus Cats. I hate Wampus. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, Wampus Cats throughout uh, America. Um, you know, it's probably just some puma sightings or something. Or I mean, if I saw a puma with six legs, I'd probably run the other way. They could just be mutated. Anyways, <laughs> it's like Blinky. Yeah, um, yes. <laughs> run faster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Edward, what is your uh, number five? My number five is a classic. I went with the legendary Mothman. Okay, so Mothman. we're gonna we're gonna table that till later because Mothman's my number three. This right. is kinda, my number one. It. Yeah, <laughs> so we got we got we got to talk about it all the way at number one, which is pretty good. Yeah, um, yeah this is gonna go really fast. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a lot of overlap. Pretty much, uh, JJ. What is your number four? My number four comes from a land down under, where everything tries to kill you, including. Drop bears. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking drop bears. What bears? Drop, drop bears. bears. Drop? 
yeah. drop bears. Like they drop out of the sky? They drop out of trees. Yeah. Oh, so koala bears? All you. They're mutated koala bears that are carnivorous. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they they look rabid, pretty much. So like, it's just a koala bear with rabies. No, yeah, that's okay. the... Like that would be like... If we wanted to debunk it, if yes. that's what we were here yeah, to do. a wet koala bear? <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. Dude, funny. this this <laughs> art is dope, though. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, drop bear. <laughs> and right next to it is the wet koala, though. Uh, oh, oh, no. <laughs> no! What is with that jaw? Uh, what is I'm, wrong with his bottom I'm, jaw? I'm, I'm Why do they have pointy teeth? All they eat is eucalyptus. <laughs> They have, uh, what's I going to say? I mean, they're all really dumb and have chlamydia. I mean, why wouldn't they be angry? Aww. So maybe the drop bear just has like super chlamydia. Oh, bro, there's a height chart? They're five meters big? <laughs> this is like when I found out Wait, Peppa Pig is seven wanna, feet tall. I want to see the highlight of average man again. <laughs> and so the average man has to wear a fedora. No, <laughs> Like this thing is two Indiana Jones is tall. Oh <laughs> 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 yeah, like Australia isn't scary enough, right? It's got spiders that'll kill you. It's got birds that'll kill you. It's got a tree that'll kill you. Now the fucking koalas, the cutest animal in all of Australia, next to Hugh Jackman, <laughs> is, is, is also trying to maul you. That's... It's fucked. Fun fact about um, Australia that we're not going to get to, uh, probably because, I mean, drop bears was already a surprise, but I know that there's a cryptid in Australia that's just, oh, there's a 30-foot lizard out there. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. pr- sure. We kind of Makes lost sense. track of it. It's somewhere out there. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere Has anyone ever there. played New Vegas? Yeah. I think it's just Australia, like, today. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're going to find, like, big-ass mosquitoes <laughs> That'll stab you. Look into the Mad Max series. I'm pretty sure, like outside of Australia, everything's normal except in the Mad Max world. I dare one of you guys to open the door. Elijah, uh, I go. Is Elijah outside? Wench, can you open the door? What did you just call her? Uh, wench. Mm-hmm. I call Sam a wench. Mm-hmm. If everyone is a designated mm-hmm. wench when they're not on camera. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm doing it for Edward. I, I yeah. mean, I would do anything for Edward. But it won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fight a drop bear? <laughs> I do. Hey. 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 Oh, he's not dead. Yet. I would have until I found out they were five meters tall. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got joints. I mean, if it's got joints, you can just uh, ankle yeah. lock it. Is we going to light up? Put it in the clutch and make a combo. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. We're trying to... Uh, Calm everything down here for a little bit. Uh, we have um, Elijah is has just showed up to the Airbnb. Um, so, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he lives. <laughs> <laughs> Someone um, in the chat was at the party last night. <laughs> no, that's just Key. Okay. Yeah, Key knows everything because um, he's yeah. in the Mexican group chat. Key is basically our uh, editor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but um, just to get back to the topic. A oh damn you missed your pitch. Um, look up, stay alive, drop bears. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, they eat your face. <laughs> um, my number four that I kind of changed because I did get this confused. Um, because mm-hmm. at first I thought it was Goatman, mm-hmm. but um, Goatman came apart a little bit later. Uh, but so everybody knows the story of La Yonona. Yeah, which mm-hmm. is just like, hey man, don't go to that part of the river. Um, you'll get dragged by an old lady and you'll die. Um, but the, the one that I always thought was scarier, just because there's three or four versions of it, was Donkey Lady. So Donkey Lady is my number four. What is Donkey Lady's deal? Like, what's one of her stories? You said there's four. So, uh, so I only know two actually. But okay. The, the one of the do- one of the things that I know is that it was like this witch that lives in a. Um, in a building, or like in her house or whatever, like a hermit off in the woods. Because as a witches, hut as witches woods. as witches do, right. and um, they set it on fire because she was a witch. Okay, and then her hands kind of melded together, mm-hmm. and then they it, like so now the ghost of the donkey lady has hooves. Okay, the other one is that it was always like it's like the Jersey Devil, like it always she always ha- was part donkey kind of thing. Okay, 
Uh, either way, it's a very benevolent thing. And also, I found out donkeys are mean enough to kill hyenas and wolves and coyotes. Oh, yeah, donkeys don't give a fuck. Why do you think they call them asses? <laughs> The only Donkey Lady I know is a glitch from Red Dead Redemption. That is uh, yeah. why that glitch is in there, because Donkey Lady is a Western-type story. Uh, let me see if I can find a picture. I feel like she was just like living her best life out in the woods, in her hut, you know, with her hooves. No, uh, and people are like, so you know, we're just going to burn Dead this shit down. Red Dead had a bunch of glitches where the animal AI would That's get awesome. mixed up with the human people AI. Oh, whoa. So, like, <laughs> this island Dr. Moreau up in this bitch. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> something. a reference to Donkey Lady in 2, wasn't there? It probably was. Like, I, I mean, I know there's a vampire in fucking two that you like, can find in New like, Orleans. Like, he finds like a lady or a skeleton of a lady that's pushing something. Pushing real good? Like, the, the face of a donkey or some shit like that. I haven't found it. Like, it was something like that. I like your art there. You got queued up. Oh, the the, the donkey lady? The donkey. Yeah. She's apparently from San Antonio. I just I just oh. looked that up. Because uh, I've always heard about, like, a, I mean, it's a cryptid, so there's a lot of stories of it kind of deal. Um, I did think that like those haunted train tracks. Yeah. There's a donkey that gives you beer in Arizona. What? What? Yeah. Uh, my, my we need to invite him here. to this this party. <laughs> Come here. You can't yell you can't across the. Th yell, throw in shit, and then not like get in here. Our, our special guest uh, Maggie. I'm gonna yeah. kneel. Yeah, it's taking me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's a donkey in Arizona that gives out beer. See, my brother, he's a mariachi, and so you can actually rent the donkey, and he's super cool and super chill, and he just walks around, and he has a little, like, pack where there's beer, and as he passes by... He's like the St. Bernard's from the Looney Tunes? <laughs> <laughs> you just get a beer. I thought he was a cryptid. I thought you were telling me about a cryptid about a donkey that gives out beer. No, <laughs> no this, is a, this is a real okay. one. This one's, this one's proven real. I'm starting real. the Church of Donkey Man. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this one is real. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, he could be, but it's real. So I mean, you have a real cryptid now. If we bring, I know, if we bring yeah. the donkey lady to the donkey beer man, <laughs> just have a whole conclave now. But he did have an accident. He fell on one of the dance floors, but he's okay now. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> Little I Sebastian. Like donkey man, <laughs> <laughs> he's in stout style. <laughs> um, fun fact: Why I like donkey lady actually is that. Um, we would we would get high at, the, at our, I used to party at a ranch. We would get high and then Gabriel would start randomly saying like, "Don't go out. The donkey lady is going to get you." <laughs> and she can would go get it for, for fucking javelinas right after that. Yeah, yeah. He would With a knife. <laughs> what? Just a knife. You get gored, my dude. Well, he was Javelina's like, "I heard it," <laughs> and he's like, "No, dude, I won't get gored. You just got to stab it in the gills." What? <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a whole method to his madness. Yeah, that's not how Where javelinas like work. He's deep inside of a bush trying to get at a fucking javelina. Oh, man, speaking of javelinas, that takes me back to my days working for the Texas Legislative Commission. I was a proofreader, and I was there, and we had to proofread that bill about being able to hunt wild boar from a helicopter. Mm -hmm. And they started doing that, like, uh, Alamo Draft House or whatever. A bunch of people from, like, Fantastic Fest went out and did that. I had to read that that bill before it became like they passed it and i was like this is buck wild <laughs> it's like this is some white bullshit <laughs> just hunting wild boar from a helicopter unfair do the do the javelinas have helicopters no bro goliath is just dropping like the yeah. weirdest like cool cryptids, cryptids what i haven't we heard got of. what we got so he's dropping something called so he what he called it is the blood sucking hag of barbados oh i've heard of that yeah. um yeah but that like when i look scary. the what that sounds scary it looks scary that sounds almost as metal as the the mongolian death worm <laughs> <laughs> Um, but like you got a Wikipedia page that's called a su sukoyant. Sukoyant is a shape shifting, shape shifting Caribbean folklore character who mm -hmm. appears as a reclusive old woman by mm -hmm. day. By night, she strips her wrinkled skin and puts it in a mortar. Mm -hmm. In her true form, as a fireball, mm. she flies across the dark sky in search of a victim. Mm. Oh, that's so not... she's like their version of the lechuza. Yes. Is that which is the one with the? It's I think it's like. A movie I saw is called Mystics of Bali, and it's like the witch where it's just the floating head and organs, and she goes to oh, find yeah. like young virgin girls and that's, suck their blood while they sleep. I want to say that's a uh, Filipino. Yeah, folklore. something like that. Yeah, um, yeah, those ones are dope too. Uh, 
Hell yeah. yeah. Like, okay, what number are we on now? We're still at four. We're still four. Okay. But yeah, like the art for these things is like. Oh, whoa. I, I mean, dude, no, that's a new one for me. That's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. Fuck off, donkey lady. I got a new number for it. <laughs> <laughs> Blood sucking hag of Barbados. Well, uh, I, yeah. Yeah, on to your number. Four. Oh, uh, number four. Uh, I put in down uh, Selkies and Kelpies. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a yay over there for Maggie. Um, yeah, so they, they kind of have some overlap. Um, selkies and Kelpies. Um, well, a Selkie is like, it's like, like Celtic and Nordic folklore. It's a woman who's also like a seal, like kind of like a wear seal type situation. She can like take off her. I, I her thought skin. it was a horse type thing. Well, that's that's the Kelpie, but the Kelpie can also uh, transform into a woman. It's kind of a similar situation. And uh, with the Selkies, they're actually kind of like a positive cryptid because they will like save like drowning, you know, sailors and children and help them out kind of deal. So this is very sort of like is it a chicken? Little Mermaid sort of no that's a that's a breed of chicken. <laughs> it's called a silky, I think, not a selky. That's S E L K I E S, silky. No. Uh, not silky like the fabric. Looking it up, checking it. Twice. Oh, they're like that's really nice. Yeah, they're kind of like seal mermaids. Yeah, so I, they, I saw. They, they won't kill you, would they? I don't think so. I mean, as long as you don't slight them. I think if you're mean to kids, maybe. They're not otter mermaids. They're fine. <laughs> well, that one's I'll cute. just throw them a rock. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a dude uh, somewhere. He might be in the stream, might not. That's trying to get Sam to eat otter meat. Mm, pass. Too cute. Uh, they do evil things. <laughs> <laughs> like crush this oyster on my tummy. <laughs> no, they do worse things. They're like that. he walks in the night. Oh no. 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 Is this like those like dolphin rape caverns or something? Uh kind of worse than dolphins, actually. Oh no. Yeah. Ugh, I remember being a kid wanting to swim with dolphins and then I got older and then I knew better. <laughs> <laughs> well, Edward, what is your number four? Oh, another classic. Uh one that, that kind of scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. And then I realized, oh, I'm way too far away from it. What the fuck? You're, you're safe. You're safe. It's a regional thing, and yeah? It is uh, something that uh, every Latino kid has heard of. And it is the chupacabra. Mm. Ah, yes. <laughs> the funny thing about the chupacabra, uh, the chupacabra is that um, I remember, it, like, for some fucking reason, despite it being a cryptid, like, we had... A chupacabra watch on Canal Cinco. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they actually had like a budget for it and in, in the shit. They put someone in a costume, had him roar at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> saw that. Saw that when I was like, I don't know, seven. Fucking couldn't sleep for days after. That. Oh. <laughs> it's fucking out there, man. <laughs> I remember it was like so the crypt, the chupacabra was originally from uh, Puerto Rico, and then there was like it made landfall in Chiapas, and then every other day it would be like it's coming up, man. It's like in Torreon now. <laughs> <laughs> and it could never like like uh, agree on what it looked like. It always kept changing. Like yeah, man, it's like ten feet tall. It, it's got these these huge claws. It's got wings. <laughs> <laughs> wings. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, it kind of looks like a, a three-foot mosquito. <laughs> I like the alien design. The alien design was my favorite. The alien design was best design. Uh, I'm pulling it up. Uh, yeah, like yeah, when it was good. kind of like an alien thing, mm. that was the best. At some point, they were like, nah, man, it's a coyote now. Like, we just, they, they just <laughs> yeah. kind of went down, and I don't know why. Like, uh, probably. Well, it's because somebody supposedly found a picture of a chupacabra, but really it was just like a very desiccated corpse of a dog that had mange. Yeah. And that's no, they, why they found one running. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like be- behind them, mm-hmm. and they're like, "What is that? Is, is that is that chupacabra? Is chupacabra?" Yeah. But no, it's just just a dog with mange. Yeah, it's chasing after the truck. Yeah, and it looks weird because when they get really like you know skinny, like the bones, their their uh, ribs and the bones on their back and spine kind of show through a little mm. bit, and that's hence the spikes on the back, which is unfortunate. Yeah, but I remember it looking like m- like a weird alien kind yeah. of thing. Like with claws and scales. That was one of the pictures they showed. I remember that. One. <laughs> yeah. I had a T-shirt of that. Is it, is it um what's called this afternoon Sunday afternoon Max? Let's go. Thanks, plant based daddy. Um, so um, I, that was the one that I was scared of. Once once it became this um, coyote thing, I was like, "Fuck you! I don't really care about that." <laughs> 
I remember back in the day, they were like all the, the lancheros were just staying up at night, just waiting for this fucker to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get that son, bitch. <laughs> we're gonna get him. The news told me it was coming. Pretty met him, They ain't been wrong yet. <laughs> Dude, back in the day, and I've tried finding these clips. I just can't. Pretty met him, had the this creepiest alien clips. Yeah. And then I don't know. Like maybe it's fake at this point because I, I can catch digital rendering a little better but i just remember like aliens chilling in the front yard just being like <laughs> <laughs> that's that scene from signs where it just walks <laughs> he's like hey what's up can i come to the party you guys got extra cake I mean, actually speaking of chupacados i got some few stories about going to the ranch to feed the animals and shit yeah and something creepy always happens to me when i go to the ranch where's the ranch at uh back home in eagle pass texas okay mm. so uh the first time I want to go feed the, the animals, I had to go feed the, the peacocks. Mm-hmm. I go in to feed the peacocks. And I notice all the peacocks are on one side. One rooster was there with them chilling. And I'm like, where's the other one? And I turn to the left, and he's there in a corner, just there, standing, mm-hmm. face completely peeled off. <gasps> what? It was a peacock or a, a rooster? The, the rooster got in a fight with the peacock and peeled its fucking face off. Oh, God. And it's just there, completely bleeding and shit. Oh. I was like, I closed the door immediately. I was like, no, no, no. I called my mom because it was when my dad was at the hospital. So I was like, mom, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> He's like, well, your dad's rifle's there, right? Yeah, just, just fucking shoot it. <laughs> shoot it and get rid of it. Yep. That's what I did. And this past time that I went, there was a goat there just next to the corral, dead, mm. completely dead. Looked like it vomited out blood and stuff. And then I tell my dad, like, Dad, one of the goats died. Which one is it? Uh, the brown one. He's like, we don't have a brown one. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was like, well, there's a fucking brown one there and it's dead. And he's like, you sure it's not black? No, it's a brown goat. Take a picture of it. And I took a picture of the show. So I was like. I don't know whose goat that is. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the wrong wrench, boy. Oh, shit. It was like, well, fucking dead. What do, you want me, what do you want me to do with it? Run. No, he fucking tells me, well, tie him up to it and drag it out. <laughs> like, don't touch me. it. Yeah. So that's what I did. I had to drag it, that motherfucker out. But every time I kept dragging out, I, was, I kept looking behind me. He's like, please don't tell me something's chasing after me. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking bait <laughs> to get me. The T-Rex comes out of nowhere. The fucking chupacabra has got a taste for human flesh now. That's what it is. I remember um, there was all these stories, and even I saw it at the ranch. I know what the what really happened at this point, but you would just walk around the ranch and find pieces of goats and stuff, like oh. like yeah. like foots and things. Like at first, I was like, "Oh man, like there's something creepy out there." Then I realized, "Oh, it's just coyotes dragging the corpse around," kind of thing. Yeah. But for a little bit, you walk around the ranch and just see random pieces of meat. It does kind of creep you out. Yeah, especially to go at night. Ugh. happened to me back in West Virginia, one of our houses, we lived in a log cabin and our neighbors had hunting dogs. And I, one day I went on the front driveway and there was just like a deer leg on the driveway. I was like, ah, I was like seven. It's very traumatizing. <laughs> Mike Myers sure is scary. But the last thing you need to be hairy this Halloween is your balls. Luckily, our friends at Manscaped launched their fourth generation performance package to make sure your pumpkins get the ultimate carving experience on this spooky day. Turn your bite-sized treat into a king-sized candy uh, and join the six million men worldwide who trust Manscaped to get Manscaped going. And for 20% off, just share code MEX wrong one uh mix 20 you'll get 20 percent off and free shipping uh make the right call this spooky season it's trick or trim um honestly guys i know that was a little hacky but we all use manscaped pro- uh, products uh mostly because they gave it to us and once we did we loved all of it um Edward, I guess we need to get you a razor at some yeah, point. Yeah, get me one. I'm still waiting on mine. That's why I haven't shaved any of my shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so fucking them. hairy. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that you don't have any because you can use Mex 20 today and <gasps> oh. help support the show Ooh. and support mm-hmm. puns about your dick being a candy bar. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean the the Snickers have a vein. Um, it's good and plenty. 
<laughs> That's a Charleston Chew if I've ever heard one. <laughs> it's the big oh, Toblerone. Yeah. <laughs> what will happen if like the lights went out of my house and I'm trying to get a trim in there, man? Oh, it's a good thing that the um, Manscaped 4.0 comes with a little nightlight. So what? if you uh, need to shave your stuff, like maybe you're in a rush kind of day. Maybe you're, you know, in the woods hunting the Jersey Devil and Bigfoot. And <laughs> <laughs> you want to look and you real figure, nice. Like, my you pubes know what? are it, giving it, off the scent. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to get these off. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them off the trail a little bit. <laughs> Manscaped will have your back. And... Honestly, um, I mean, we can't talk about their products enough. They're they're. Shampoo. Do you have a hairy back? What's going on here? No, you're fine. Okay, yeah, I'm, thank you, I'm not Manscaped. Hairy. I, yeah, <laughs> thing. Manscaped helps me keep trim. Uh, also, like their shampoo smells amazing. Uh, Sam's life was shaved. Uh, sa- <laughs> Saved. Uh, <laughs> Both. <laughs> saved and shaved? Yes, because he used uh, the Manscaped underwear. Um, it, caught, it, caught, it stopped any, like, fat boy f- uh, flapping around of his thighs kind of thing. Oh, Wait. yeah. Oh, getting the rash on your thighs? My God. Yes. Oh, it's the worst. I, I think they're called, like, uh, oh, shit, what's it called? There's these shorts that are on a tights website called, like, Chub Rub or something like that. Yes. Oh, Chub Rub? <laughs> yeah. That, damn. All right. Write that down. From now on, <laughs> stop Chub Rub. Use Manscaped <laughs> undies. Um, but, yes, um, honestly, go to Manscaped. Double and entendre. And JJ, what is the line? Your balls will thank you. Well, JJ, what is your number three? Thunderbirds. The, <gasps> dude. <laughs> that takes me back. Cause, okay, so <laughs> one of the things that has always interested me about cryptos is I was I was that weird kid at like from ages five to 15. It was like everything. Like we talked about lost tapes before we mm-hmm. got here. Yeah. Um, Every disco- uh, that's why I got mad at the Discovery Channel because every Thursday night it's like here's some random cryptid bullshit here's ghost hunters and then it's like no man I don't want to watch like weird people that live in a small house or like, <laughs> uh, all the dating and reality shows that they have I don't now. care if Big Ed doesn't get with his fiance <laughs> <laughs> show me Bigfoot <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, Thunderbirds were one of those things where it's just like that one kind of freaked me out. Like the idea of a because if like just normal dinosaurs mm-hmm. like pterodactyls existed, like no, you're never going right, outside. Yeah. <laughs> never again. Not doing that. <laughs> That's big. <laughs> <laughs> what year was it? 2007. That's a trap. And there were sightings of it in San Antonio. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's why it's fucking, on my list. <laughs> and fucking bear was like, let's go hunt for some thunderbirds. <laughs> now we're just getting so cars. For like three hours, and I'm like, bear, we ain't saying shit, bro. Uh, there was one time we went to go visit him in the early 2000s, maybe 2007, because he was in college at the time at OLO or, or no, Our Lady uh, of the Lake. Olu. Olu. And. Uh, at the time, he was driving a two-seater Silverado. Yeah, his dad's pickup truck. Yeah, that's what he had. So me and Frank went to go visit him, and both of us couldn't ride up front. <laughs> so <laughs> so oh, we'd be wow, like, yeah, the, let's... Who lost the coin toss? <laughs> I lost the coin toss. And like, All right, Jay, well, we're just going to go over to Chacho's. It's not far. It's like across town. You, wh- what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. We're not going to drive past like the Thunderbird sighting areas. The what now? <laughs> <laughs> you mean they've seen these fuckers here? <laughs> yeah, it took a kid the other day from over there. Like right over there. <laughs> he's, he's, he's talking to me like fucking... <laughs> Like uh, 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 Herman Munster in, in Pet Cemetery. Oh, yeah, they, they took a kid. <laughs> oh, not yeah. no, we don't go over that now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, you'll be fine. That's why they saw that, that Thunderbird. <laughs> we don't go there. Here, put these onions on you. <laughs> <laughs> Just put down a bunch of newspaper, it'll be fine. The, 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 the Thunderbirds don't like onions, Jay. Here you go. <laughs> so, yeah, I rode that creepy ride in the back of his pickup truck just like hmm. they're probably not real right <laughs> 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 I don't know they're not. I don't know they're not. 
I, I remember seeing like one of those Discovery Channel shows. They talked about some rancher that shot at it, and mm-hmm. it was it was like a it had a thirty foot wingspan, and mm-hmm. it, it fell down. And he was like, and then I just drove away. And I as as a kid, I was like, that, as an adult, I'm like, that dude's full of shit. Yeah, <laughs> bullshit. You did not drive away. You shot it, and it came down. You're like, oh hell yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a picture with that. Like it's a big bass. I'm gonna like look at this. Look how big this thing is. I don't know. Like. It, 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 People are idiots. They 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 will just like stick their hand in like a gator's mouth. I uh, do not believe he drove away. Well, as a child, I totally believed it. By That's the way, <laughs> <laughs> as a child, I was like, he shot a thirty foot bird. You know, <laughs> just oh, <laughs> legend. <laughs> you dropped this king. <laughs> um, on to my number three, which I'm switching because we have plenty of um, Mothman love that we'll talk about at a certain point. Bless you. Um, my number three is, uh, it's kind of like the Bigfoot, but it's called uh, the Kushtaka. Uh, the Kushtaka is basically like the Bigfoot and an otter. All the evilness of an otter and a Bigfoot together. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> <laughs> You know, I feel like I fought him in a recent video game called The Witcher. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> So uh, the, the Kushtaka is at legitimately, um, it's part of Inuit folklore mm-hmm. in Alaska. And there's villages that have been abandoned because like it started eating people is the myth about it kind of thing. But it's just like, there's always an added thing where like Bigfoot is pretty prevalent. I think Bigfoot exists in most cultures mm-hmm. actually at this point. Yeah, everyone's got one. Is the that Yeti. an excuse for me to break lease? Like the Kushtaka is like eating people. I'm sorry. I have, to, I have to get out of my lease. We live in Austin. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. What's the Kushtaka doing here? <laughs> Wait, seen that fucker? I'm dating the guy that lived in Alaska, though. So. They <laughs> <laughs> came in. back from the <laughs> They booked a flight and everything. <laughs> Does it seem like, uh, sir, is that a check back? <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, man, it's just because we know otters are evil. The excellence is against otters. I'm so, so confused. What's the deal with otters? I thought they were cute and fuzzy. And I was wondering. So did gonna... Sam. <laughs> <laughs> what do? Well, so we ruined his favorite animal. Do they eat their babies like hamsters or something? You wish. Oh no. We can talk about this off. I air, mean, I um, I can, we can say it real quick. <laughs> like, uh, they don't eat their babies. They kill them. <laughs> And then they uh, have their way with them. No! <laughs> what is wrong with animals? God damn. Anyways, okay. They're called, I think, like, the article that Sam pulled up that, like, triggered him was, like, necrophilic murder weasels. What? <laughs> can we just, like, can, like, the Fleshlight Company just, like, make a bunch of little, like, otter sex toys to give them so they won't kill their babies? Um <laughs> uh, I don't think the otters can cover the shipping and handling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And then Goliath had it. And then they also do that to dead baby seals. Mm. I'm sorry. We ruined your favorite. Wait, animal. seals do that or the otters do that? Yeah, to the, the, the sea otters do that to seals. Okay. So otters, assholes, noted. Yeah. Yep. They're, they're as bad as dolphins. Yeah. Worse than dolphins, actually. Maybe. Whoa. Dolphins get high. <laughs> <laughs> they, they figured out that if you touch the puffer fish a certain way, you start tripping balls. Wait, whoop, <laughs> Just harassing no, the puffer fishes. Then, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like daddy needs his juice. Come on. Come on. Come medicine. on. <laughs> yeah. I got to get that puffer fish <laughs> monkey off my back. So you scroll. Someone said they had a, a good one. Mm. Oh, what was it? The uh, cucaracha? No, no, no. There he is. The, uh, the, Kiki the, dude, the dude from JoJo. Oh. Their number three is the dude from JoJo. Oh. <laughs> Kiki, Kiki Yawan? Yeah. I don't know that one. Uh, the dude, I don't know. That. What, what is it? Do I type anything? Uh, K I K I Y A O N, it looks like. Y A O N. K-I-O-N. K-I-O-N. Kiki Yawan. Oh, it's like an owl? I don't like this. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Is it an owlbear? It's an owlbear. <laughs> Let's do some D&D here. Uh, the Kiki, uh, Kiki Owen is a soul can is a the Kiki Owen or soul cannibal is one of the most terrifying Whoa. and at the same time one of the most least seen and understood of all forest creatures. Its very name can conjure a look of horror. It is described as resembling a large owl, especially its head. It has a huge beak and raking talons. 
So it'll help me with my yard work? <laughs> <laughs> Kiki Allen, please come over. The two oak trees in my front yard have been dropping leaves like crazy. The Bamboro people say it has huge pair of feathered wings, which grow from its back and shoulder joint, uh, of which is tipped with a sharp spur, weapon of its talons, the most terrifying in its presence. Blah, right. Looks like it's from Africa. I guess so. Mm. That's pretty dope. It's, it's a giant owl. That's what it is. I mean, oh, yeah. I've been told recently that owls are shady. Do not trust them. Yes. Yeah. They are not yeah. as they appear, as they said in uh, many David Lynch films, I believe. No, yeah. There's there's plenty of people that think owls are cool and smart, and it's like, no, they're evil. Yes. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> okay. Except they'll the turn into part. a witch and to steal your children. And they'll also <laughs> just barf up mouse bones. Rude. <laughs> those, those are devoured children. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tessa, on to your number three. Oh, uh, for number three, I have the Grafton Monster from West Virginia, which was sighted back in 1964. Uh, a gentleman who was driving home, I want to say, from his job. He was actually a journalist. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. So the Grafton Monster I didn't really know about until I played Fallout uh, 76. Do not judge me. Uh, I wanted to play it online with my friends from West Virginia. Just for something to do, have some yuck yucks, and uh, found out about some new cryptids through that. Me and my brother stream usually on Sunday. And yeah. We're running low on, because everything we play is like beat em up, beat em up, beat em yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, maybe we should find a shooter that has co-op just to like mix it up a little yeah. bit. <laughs> He's like, well, I mean, 76 is like five bucks right now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we, we had fun playing it because we actually saw buildings that we knew about that they'd actually like modeled and like scanned them and like did hmm. decent replicas of. But um, the main thing we would joke about was like, man, these uh, these paved roads are actually pretty all right in this game. And they're like fucking falling apart. And we're like, that's better than the paving we had back home. Your tax dollars at work. Um, so anyways, the Grafton monster, after this guy saw it, he went and told some people and basically like a, a large gangs of teens went like looking for the Grafton monster with like guns and shit. And the police are like, okay, all right, this y'all is, need to settle down. This is how you know West Virginians are good people. <laughs> <laughs> and so the cops were like, Okay, we'll look into it. It got it, like it got into such a fervor. It was like over a spring break. It was just a bunch of drunk like West Virginian teens, and somebody saw something. It was like, let's go check it out. But it doesn't. Basically, it doesn't have like a head, kind of like the Mothman doesn't have a head, and a lot of these cryptids don't have heads. And uh, yeah, yeah, no discernible head. Uh, it had skin like white, smooth skin like a seal. I don't know why all these cryptids have skin like a seal. I hear that a lot. I mean, um, literally the otter Sasquatch didn't. So mm, that's weird. Um, so yeah, this was a, a creature that they were trying to trying to find. And, uh, I think it's also called like the Braxton. No, wait, that's different. One. No, that's but a anyways, different one. Yeah, that's a different one. Anyways, that's uh, yeah, that's that's the uh, Grafton monster caused quite a fervor in that town i would not have fun running into this <laughs> yeah how yeah. tall is it supposed to be because if it's like oh, three shit. feet maybe let I can... me see how large they they purported that it was <laughs> um, i mean they only saw it once i believe kind of am i right am i wrong uh da, 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 da. let's see if they have like the stats at the top here saying how big i mean it there's is. a whole cricket there, uh, there's it just a, says there's large whole... size doesn't really give me like how i guess tall. he didn't have time to pull out a ruler and be like <laughs> 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 Let me get my laser level. <laughs> uh, yeah, large humanoid bipedal creature, no visible head, yada, yada, yada. Um, yep. Nine feet tall and about four feet wide is what it says here. An anonymous teenager claimed, definitely not drunk or on drugs back in 1964, I'm sure. No. <laughs> Back then, nah. Hell no. <laughs> no, they were very, they were very nice, respectable youth. Right, yeah. Cocaine didn't come to the states until like the eighties, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure cocaine has got to West Virginia yet. Let's be real. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody there is about uh, heroin and meth. It's you know, there's a big opioid crisis. It sounds like they need some coke. <laughs> Oh boy! Um, yeah, there was, <laughs> balance there, everything out. <laughs> there was a weekend where eleven people OD'd. Oh, and wow. it was yeah, it was real bad. Anyways, uh, the true monster is addiction. Uh, true, <laughs> yeah. Number three, addiction. <laughs> that cryptid is real. <laughs> Say yes to drugs. <laughs> uh, 
Edward, what is your number three? My number three, it is another classic. Probably the most well-known of, of the classic ones. Uh, dating back to, I want to say, the, the, the 70s or, or the 60s when this first footage came out of this giant bipedal creature walking, you know, doing his little jig. And oh, no, John Cena? <laughs> you can't see him. <laughs> and uh, so my number three is Bigfoot. Big face. Big face. <laughs> hey, we have two Bigfoot in this uh, number three iteration. Ooh. Oh, maybe Ooh. I should change my my number. Hang on, let me find the me two Bigfoot big in this. Are they dancing <laughs> together now? It takes two. All right, I I'm never gonna dance again. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty fear, got, got no rhythm. <laughs> All right, I'm not. I'm gonna leave the camera on you while I make this, and I, as he's, I fuck this up, he's making a mermosa. So, you, Bigfoot is the only one that got his own like show in the sense where like there was a History Channel show where it's just like oh, fuck, three dudes really actively hunting Bigfoot. Oh, Harry and the Hendersons. Well, yeah, he also <laughs> got that show, but but no, the History Channel after Monster Quest and after the Cryptid Boom quote unquote in the early two thousands and they started doing more reality shows or here's like pop stars. Cakes. Here's rednecks in the in the Louisiana swamp hunting gators. Here's which I actually really like swamp people. But, <laughs> <laughs> but there was one where it was just like, yeah, we're hunting Bigfoot. So uh here's three dudes that have zero credentials. Uh we don't know what their area of expertise is. But they're going to go out to the woods and try to find Bigfoot. We're going to let them. <laughs> have fun, have fun <laughs> boys. We gave them some cameras. <laughs> <laughs> and some really large nets. I think these are for butterflies. Eh, you got this. But it, yeah. I, I don't know a whole lot about, like... Kia, Kia is saying that it used to be called Squatch Watch. <laughs> oh, wow. Very good. That's a great name. <laughs> oh, man. What about uh, a Yeti Betty? Ooh. Are you going to take bets? Or a Yeti Netty? But I didn't really watch it a whole lot, and I'm not like a big Work survivalist or, you know, knowledgeable about, you know, the woods. Everything you know about the woods, you know from anime? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And video games. But I do know a handful of things. Like, uh, there was one time I was playing Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> oh, from video games still. Again. <laughs> Well, no, th this ties into it because there was one time I was playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and I was just like exploring the woodland area, one of them, in, in Red Dead. And I came across like this abandoned cabin, but it was like just foundation, like a storm hit it or mm -hmm. it was never finished or something. And I was like, that's kind of weird to be here. Like, why would they leave that here? Mm -hmm. And I explored around the area thinking there might be something here. There might be like a cool weapon or something. And I saw a tree with some weird markings. Mm -hmm. And I was like, huh, Claws? That's weird. And I turned around and I walked away. And then, like, in the back of my, my gears were still turning. And I was like, Wait, don't bears do that to. <laughs> 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 so I was, so flash forward to me watching this Bigfoot show. And, I'm, and they're like, Oh man, there's some markings on these trees. Bigfoot does that. Like, Bigfoot, it teaches the little big feats to, <laughs> to mark the tree. <laughs> so why'd you choose Bigfoot as your number three? Well, well, one, because I was told about this episode like an hour before. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You'll, you'll, you'll get up to speed as we design the Animex <laughs> later. And... and uh, Two, because there was two other did ones. You, did you guys, like, nobody was. used Jackling's jerky? <laughs> <laughs> two, because he's fought the Incredible Hulk and the Million Dollar Man. Uh, I think he humps the Million Dollar Man in the... Well, she humps the Million Dollar Man in the Adventure Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Oh, if he, you get he. Oh, right, he. shit, yes. Okay, yeah, that was a cute <laughs> episode. <laughs> the first episode of Adventure Brothers <laughs> has Chupacabra. Yeah, the first one has Chupacabra. Yeah. They're all yeah. over Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> And he, Bigfoot is on a diet. And Rusty Ventures like, God damn, Chupacabras. Or no, wait, no, what is it? Brock's is dead. Brock. Chupacabras are all yeah. over this place. Place is lousy with it. <laughs> and they use the coyote chupacabra kind of thing. Yeah. So I was like, hmm. Was it more alien? It was kind of greenish? It was greenish, but it, it had a dog face. Oh, okay. Did a mashup. 
Um, I will say that I've seen some some of the I don't know if I can find it on YouTube because YouTube's algorithm is dumb, but I've seen some footage that is of Bigfoot that I'm like that would be really hard to fake. Yeah, I saw yeah. one where they're uh they're like out in the, in, in the mountains or something in the mm-hmm. snowy area and some dude keeps focusing into the trees and it zooms in into the trees and it clip starts panning up mm-hmm. like about maybe 7 or 8 feet. Yeah. And you all of a sudden if you look closely there's just a, a face, face staring right back at him. I I actually have some friends that saw a Bigfoot in Texas. I think it was at a friend's ranch. It was uh, buddies of mine. I don't want to name them. Uh, but yeah, they were like riding their like what ATVs or some shit on, on my buddy's ranch. His parents owned. And they heard like some rustling of these bushes. And they assumed it was like the neighbor ranch's like cattle. had just like wandered onto their property or some shit. But the rustling was like way too high up about eight feet as you said and they looked up and there was a fucking like hairy man's face and they just booked it the fuck out of there like they said it was like one of the situations where like the hair on the back of your neck just like raises yeah. and you just kind of like nope right the fuck out you know you don't even take time to be like maybe I should take a video I'm like no this thing is huge and will fuck you up and uh, I was like man if I'd known I could have like maybe we could have him call in or some shit <laughs> and told us uh, firsthand. <laughs> I've definitely seen that snow footage. I'm not finding it right now. Everything that I'm seeing kind of looks like it could be fake. There's a thermal camera video mm. that might, I don't know, be interesting. Oh, there's a top 10 Yeti sightings Ooh. thing. But, um, yeah. Don't forget the Yeti was in WCW for a while. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, the Yeti. <laughs> he looked like a mummy, though, for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably cold, so they wrapped him up in shit. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, on to number twos. Uh, JJ, what is your number two? I want to keep this Bigfoot train rolling, <laughs> but I'm also going back to the land down under for their version of the Bigfoot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Yowie, which, mm. careful how you type that, because... Or <laughs> <laughs> do So how do I... How, what is the... Maggie's <laughs> <laughs> like, I heard Yowie, what's up? Don't type it that way. <laughs> It's Y O W I E. The Yowie. <laughs> is it, isn't there like a version of the Yowie down under where he dresses up like Santa Claus or something? Probably. Because I feel like there's like a, a cute mashup of the Yowie as a Santa. Bro, fuck this. Whoa. Fuck this. <laughs> Oh. Shit! Is it's that the fucking Babadook? I, it, it looks like a character from like a Sid and Marty Croft movie. <laughs> I, I feel like if we keep panning that, it's just gonna disappear, and we're like, where to go? <laughs> <laughs> the it's curtain? just gonna be behind you, like. Fit <laughs> 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 back there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so, the, it's gay guys with big hands. Um, <laughs> Yowie Bro, because I've seen people square up with kangaroos that look like kangaroos on their own are kind of like yeah no they're buff they, yeah, <laughs> their shoulders are just like they can't even put their arms down because their shoulders are so buff they're like can't from far away Boop. their arms look scrawny but up close you're like oh damn you got you got some definition on <laughs> Shit, you, don't son. you oh yeah let's, let's see oh my yeah they, they dear god <laughs> <laughs> like do you even bounce bro <laughs> So this muscly kangaroo and then like this yaoi was just like what what up that's my bitch <laughs> You're looking for this <laughs> on now oh, the kangaroo pulls a gun out of his pouch He's <laughs> like yeah what's up <laughs> Dude, I had never heard of the Yowie before today. Bring it uh, I've heard of a Yowie. Yowie. <laughs> I wish I didn't hear about the Yowie. <laughs> I'm going to be having nightmares about the Yowie from now on. Damn. I mean, I already kind of was before, but... <laughs> um. All right. Uh, then on to my number two. Oh, so I used to like sea monsters a lot. Um, I thought the idea of going Word. to the ocean is really scary. I still think it's really scary because uh, a tuna is what most things eat, and tunas are six feet long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zatch Bell taught me that. They get big. That's a big fish. And so, yeah, the idea of like the cool feeder fish is like <laughs> as big as me. I don't really want to meet a shark an octopus, anything like that. But I have, like, like most things that people are afraid of, like a weird curiosity of it. And so 
I th- I always thought the Kraken was a cool thing. I would get, apparently those do exist. Giant squids yeah. were found oh, yeah. in, in the last five years, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's a thing. Hundred percent thing. Um, Terrifying. Oh yeah, one thousand percent. Megalodon. <laughs> no, I, I'm not. I haven't found <laughs> Megalodon yet. <laughs> so they found his teethuses. Oh really? Yeah. There's, oh yeah, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant shark teeth. There was Didn't a, they find coelacanths? Coelacanths, yes. The yeah. Coelacanths are off the coast of Africa. Yeah, like there, coelacanths. There was a great white. They put a transmitter on or something, uh-huh. and they said that the all of a sudden the temperature rating rose up to like as if it was inside something. Uh oh. And then they went looking for it, and all they found was like the bottom half. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Okay. So they think it was either a bigger shark ate mm-hmm. it. Or something even bigger than that. Well, no, orcas, I mean, a shark or a coelacanth? It, it was a great white. Like, it was a great, a great white, white shark. They're trying to catch their patterns where they swim and stuff. Sure, but like a, a pod of orcas, like, gang up on one, they could they could take it down. Yeah, but they said that that's what they thought at first, but the mm-hmm. temperature reading said, like, it was as if something, like, grabbed it because the temperature reading... All it has to do is eat the reader. Like, how big is the reader thing? Anyway, sorry. Semantics. <laughs> she, she, she's a, so she really likes, uh, they really like. Um, overanalyzing? Overanalyzing. Like, it's like this weird thing that you do where it's just like you love. Uh, Problem solving? Uh, no, you love cryptids, but you also like look at it in a point where it's like, that's fake. Get out of here with that. That's dumb. <laughs> I'm, I'm a skeptical believer. That's, uh, I think, the, I, the term. You're molder. You want to believe. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Dana. Or maybe you're not Mulder. Maybe you're Scully. Oh, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm Scully. There's also one where they found a whale, but it was missing its bottom jaw. Oh, God. Yeah. And it looked like it was bitten off, too. Or I just saw another really hot whale, and it just... <laughs> <laughs> Take a lap. <laughs> Salt tablet. <laughs> this is a... Oh, okay. no, this, is the, this It's is the claimed point. a victim before. <laughs> <laughs> the rug is like, yes, yes, blood for the blood gods. So, like most people that got really into all this cryptid stuff, I really like Loch Ness. Mm. Found out Loch Ness is really hard to exist at a certain point because it's a lake and um, they can drain it if they wanted to. And they've, <laughs> d- they've sonared everything. That's like, a plot in The Simpsons, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Simpsons did it. Loch Ness Monster is real. He owes me tree fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Tree fitting. <laughs> you guys are giving me hope that Godzilla is real. <laughs> um, so, lo- uh, the Loch Ness monster is really hard to prove because there's not even a lot of food in that lake. Like, mm. there's sturgeons, and that's about it. And sturgeons are pretty inedible by most like sea life standards. Mm. Uh, sea life. This is a lake, anyway. Um, but there is another one with. Plenty of evidence, mm-hmm. and it's Ogopogo. Yes, oh. <laughs> it's that one's just. Is that a band? No, uh, it's a. Is that same- Oingo Boingo? Is that really? <laughs> <laughs> Ogopogo is the sa- almost all the same lore as um, the Loch Ness monster, but there's more credible sightings of it. There's more food in the area. Oh, are there like, some pictures there? Uh, what? Like, or they've got some. Uh, is it gonna be nightmare fuel? Like is it gonna be more whale dicks? <laughs> no, there's no whale dicks because it's in it's in fresh water. Oh, I mean, there's freshwater porpoises. <laughs> is the way those pink dolphins or whatever in like the Amazon River? You mean narwhals? No, <laughs> no narwhals, narwhals. <laughs> narwhals. You know those narwhals. <laughs> like champagne. Mm. Boingo, boingo. I know there's like far off mystical land of Canada. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. It's it's more credible than like like, because the Loch Ness monster. They 100 percent the dude that took that photo was like, Mm. yeah, that's fake. Yeah, that's like my cousins. Yeah, that's like a toy that we took a picture of. Mm -hmm. I got a bath toy. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Okay. (laughs) You make bath time lots of fun. Anyways. We're going to get uh, um, copyright like stricken. <laughs> uh, for singing? Uh, uh, Sesame Street stuff? The Disney that owns them fine. now, right? Uh, I legitimately, so, like, yeah, like, this is, like, 100% a real picture, and people are just kind of like... Wait, it says it was a sturgeon, though. What's the, the, what's he the, what's thought he was taking a picture of a sturgeon. Uh-huh. Legitimately, legitimately thought I was seeing a lake monster for a moment. I had no idea a sturgeon could be in that part of the country. I had no idea what I was seeing. It was far bigger than any fish I'd ever seen in a lake like that, probably five or six feet long. Oh. Hmm. 
<laughs> what are you going to do now, cr- uh, critical brain? Well, that picture is really blurry, for one. Well, yeah, it was in the Two. 80s. <laughs> Oh, is, the, is there any more recent photos that everybody's taken don't since worry the 80s? About that. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, um, it's part of a jury's out photos. for whale dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lake. There's no whale dicks in lake. <laughs> It, it's part of Ogo Pogo's uh, uh, defense mechanisms. Uh-huh. You know how like squids shoot out ink. Well, uh, mm. Ogo Pogo has a blurry filter constantly. Oh. <laughs> it's like early predator camouflage. Just <laughs> does, does things Superman does. He just shakes his face really fast in front of the camera. Well, Tessa, uh, mm-hmm. what? Onto your number two. Mm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this one's really fun. Um, This one, uh, okay, so this one was cited back in September 12th, 1952, the Flatwoods Monster of Braxton County and in the town of Flatwoods. Uh, And, uh, yeah, this one is a weird one. It was coupled with an evening where there was... Oh, fuck this one. This This is the one that, like, I saw a picture of it, and I was like, I would run the other way. Okay, so the night that this was spotted, it was the same night. There was one, a plane crash, and two, a meteorite fell. And so they're not really sure if, like, the meteorite struck the plane, and the plane, like, crashed in another direction. But anyways, there's a bunch of shit on fire falling from the fucking sky. All right? And so um, some people, of course, are like, oh, I'm curious. I'm going to go investigate this flaming hot piece of metal from the sky and uh, check that out. And they ran into a creature um, that is really bizarrely described as... Like it's got like a bright red eyes, kind of like the Mothman, and then it's kind of got like this diamond like headdress thing behind it, and tiny skinny spindly arms with like razor sharp claws at the end, and it looks like it's wearing a dress. It's like flowing cloth like at the bottom, and yeah, there you go. That's a drawing uh, from some of the people who I believe uh, spotted it, and it was goddamn it is tall. It was like thirteen feet tall. Um, but uh, yeah, they tried to explain that one away. And they still were trying to figure it out. Um, except there was like a really weird sulfuric smell. And I'm pretty sure the people were maybe just tripping balls on jet fuel. Like burnt off jet fuel. <laughs> pretty caustic stuff. So they were probably tripping and seeing uh, what they chalked up the Mothman to. It was like sandhill cranes or owls. There's a certain species of owl out there. When the light hits its eyes, it reflects back very, very bright red. So, and also the shape of the head is kind of like, you know, you can see that being kind of like an owl shape, you know? Um, so anyways, that's the uh, Flatwoods Monster. A friend of mine actually, uh, here in Austin, someone did a, a cryptid-themed burlesque show, and I went dressed as a park ranger. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a, 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 a gal pal of mine uh, did a Flatwoods Monster uh, burlesque costume, and it was so good. She had like... It lit up on the inside. Uh, her name is Miso Kissed. Yeah. Just put in Miso Kissed. She'll be dressed. It's fine. It's whatever. But uh, Miso Kissed uh, uh, Flatwoods monster costume. Nope. We probably don't want to pull that up. <laughs> I should probably look this up or send you the link later. All right. Well, if someone wants to move on to their uh, uh, number two, I'll be looking this up. All right, Edward, what is your number two? My number two comes from the way of New Jersey. <laughs> oh yeah, the Jersey Devil. So oh, yeah. fun- we can just combine here. <laughs> <laughs> Is He's your number one, one Jersey Devil? Yeah, <laughs> He's got backstory, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the most lore out of any of them. <laughs> so fun fact: uh, Tessa has a friend that has claimed to see this. I've seen the Jersey Devil. Yeah, it's a guy who's a, a client of mine. When I worked at a print shop, he had a Jersey Devil tattoo, and I was like, "Nice Jersey Devil tattoo." He's like, "Oh yeah, I used to live there. I saw it." I was like, shut the front door. Tell me everything. And, <laughs> and basically, it was like on the roof of his house and like threw trash at him and like cackled and ran away. <laughs> and that's about it. But anyways. Now, now, for me, mostly it's because from that one Johnny Quest episode. Oh, yeah. Jersey Devil. And the episode ends with the Jersey Devil flying and then it does that god awful fucking scream. That shit fucking gave me nightmares. Goddamn. Well, but I mean, the, the the lore for it is is, is pretty interesting. Uh, was it some? One of it was it was the thirteenth child to. Uh, yeah. 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 And, and she said it, this this thing might be the, the the devil or whatever. And then when she gave birth to it, it turns into the <laughs> the Jersey Devil and flies up the chimney and goes into the woods. Yep. And there it lives. 
haunting the Pine Barrens for <laughs> for fucking. <eternity. laughs> and also, the Pine Barrens are. I mean, the name is apropos. There's pines, and it's pretty barren. <laughs> so uh, I've never actually been there, but I have seen like video of people just like hanging out there or just like you know trying to actually actively hunt the jersey devil i can see how like yeah this place is kind of fucking creepy like it's not it's not the jungle right like i'm not expecting to run into predator but them trees are pretty tall there could be a fucking devil up there just like, and a drop bear just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> the best friends. Oh, wow. right. I, I sent you pictures <laughs> on the Facebook chat. Why do you like, always get the big ones? Because I'm bigger. Outfit. That's why. It's so goddamn good. Oh, damn. That lo- does look cool. I told you. And she made it herself. I, I, the only issue is I don't know how to access it because this is all Sam stuff. Ah. So my Facebook isn't logged in. <laughs> Wait, do I need to send it to Sam? <laughs> it's like, don't worry about it. I just sent you this burlesque Sam photo Sam is literally, Sam is literally on a girlfriend. date. <laughs> <laughs> what is this bitch sending you sexy pictures? <laughs> what, is, he, is he logged in on here? Uh, let me see. Um, no, we should. We should. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about it. Anyways, but Why yeah. just dresses up. Flatwoods monster. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, you can find them on. Uh, let me see. I'll just pull up their Instagram, and that's probably the best way to do it. But yeah, their their name is Miso Kissed, like M I S S O K I S S E D. Miso Kissed, as in masochist. But anyways, don't worry about it. Um, to each their own. And uh, Miso Kissed. <laughs> I don't know. You, you want to spell it out? You guys, right, you guys, you, you guys talk about. Yeah, the Jersey Devil, man. Right, yeah, Jersey. Also, Jersey is like a tough neighborhood. Like, I, <laughs> um, fucking, you know, The Sopranos was, they're all from there. Tony's a tough guy. Like, I, tough. I wouldn't fuck with Tony Soprano. <laughs> what happened if Tony you know who Pop? would? Tony. Jersey Devil. What happened if Tony Soprano had to go out and fight the, find the Jersey Devil? So, so this is what Tessa wanted to pull up, that uh, there was a... Um, <laughs> Cryptid theme burlesque show, and one of her friends dressed. One of their friends dressed up as the Jersey Devil. No, I mean, as the Flatwoods Monster. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, that's pretty dope." Yeah, and the yeah. fucking helmet lit up. New and kink everything. unlocked. <laughs> I was like, "Da da <laughs> Maybe I won't be scared of Thunderbirds if I can fuck one. 